Hi, in this video I am going to implement the concept of higher order component. So first of all I would uh, like to share um, my output screen. So actually I have app.js in which I have written uh, a head tag and app content. So let me show you the output screen. So this is the output screen where I have written app component. So now let's start the coding process. So actually I have created two files in the components folder blogs.ph.js and rainbow.js. So firstly I would like to create both these component and then after I will implement the higher order component. So in the rainbow component import react component from react right then after we have rainbow component so const rainbow equal to then after this is the actual syntax right so inside of it what we are going to do is we are going to return something so for example we have h1 tag and we are going to write here rainbow component right and at the end we will write export default rainbow component right similarly i'm going to copy this and then paste into the blogs.js so here I have to change rainbow into blogs here also rainbow into blogs right and here also blogs so now if you will keep each and every to app.js then you could able to see the changes for example I am uh, writing here rainbow rainbow right so rainbow component so here i already mentioned that component rainbow component is inside the components folder right so once i save this and now you can see that rainbow component has been rendered now and if i have needed blogs component then you can see that Blog, blogs component is here and if you want both of them then you can also rainbow component right so now we are going to render both of these component and if you want to change the color then you can also do so for example in rainbow color rainbow we want to give some style style equal to for example color is red so if you will see on the output screen rainbow component is red in color right so now we are going to uh, create uh, we are going to implement the uh, higher order component so in higher order component we actually create a wrapper so he over here we are going to wrap this component into rainbow component actually uh, this wrapper uh, using this higher order component uh, what we can do is we can modify the uh, things into the blogs component through rainbow right so here is rainbow and what we have to do is we have to import the same thing right I'm going to copy here from here and paste it here right but you know that this is not inside the components folder because actually it is components folders but at the same path right so from here we are going to wrap uh, the blogs component and now we are going to pass inside the rainbows rainbow.js rainbow component so here we will receive that wrapped component wrapped component you can give any name right 
and inside of it we are going to write wrapped component right so let me run okay here is the problem so what's the problem the problem is that in order to make it correct we have to uh, write return once again why in order to write the props equal to this is the syntax and then after we have to write this so now let me check okay this is not working now if you want to use the props then you can write here and for say example you want to okay sorry the problem is that uh, we have to wrap both these uh, element into a single uh, single element as you know that in react js inside the return we have to write a uh, div for say example which is you can also call it fragment react dot fragment and we have to wrap both these element in, into this div right so now the problem is resolved okay so rainbow component and blogs component so what we have to learn from here is that uh, the wrapper that we have created using rainbow component and inside that wrapper we have wrapped a blogs component and as you know that we want to modify the blogs component so the blog inside the blogs component actually blogs component has been received in wrapper component and inside the wrapper component we can also pass certain string for say example data so data equal to inside of it for say example uh, i am writing past data right so if you want to use that data into the blogs component then you can also write here again i am writing div because i want two components here so for example h1 tag and here is past data so how i can access past data props dot props dot data right and i'm going to cut from here and paste it here right now if you will see on the output screen this is the past data which we are going to use uh, through props and this is the blog component uh, data itself and this is the rainbow component right so in this way we can pass the uh, we can modify actually the specific component by passing through the wrapper component so this is considered as the as the higher order component right so we can also uh, do one thing that uh, we maintain uh, multiple things into this specific wrapper component which are common and we can use all these things into different uh, components this is the concept of higher order component so i think that i have to repeat once again actually i have created two files rainbow.js and blog.js and in order to uh, make them a higher order component i have created rainbow.js right so what rainbow.js is doing is that in the blogs.js component i have uh, created a wrapper rainbow uh, uh, component of rainbow rainbow component is right now the wrapper of blogs component so i am passing blogs component uh, through the wrapper of rainbow component and i have imported rainbow uh, over here so it means that inside the rainbow i can uh, modify this blogs component so the blog co blogs component has been modified here how uh, i have written wrapped component and uh, i have passed some data so this data has been used by the blogs the blogs component over here by uh, through props dot data right so this is the process to uh, modify a specific component through the wrapper so that's it for now
Thank you so much for watching this video. All the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free. So in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things. Please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos. In the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any. Have a nice day ahead.